birdie hen. Let's give her some eggs. All right, well she wants to be birdie, so we're gonna let her sit on some eggs. We may have to separate her out, because a lot of other hens are fighting over these nesting boxes. And there was one in there with her. So we gotta make sure that she's got some space to do her thing. Good luck. The second part to that experiment is that those are all double yolk eggs. And so we're gonna see what happens if it's, if it's possible to hatch out two chicks from one egg or if just one can hatch out or if they don't hatch out at all. So we're just gonna do a little experiment with that one. See if there's any eggs in there. I can do that part. Please. I tore this one up. I don't think anybody's been in it. Oh, oh there's an egg up there. Oh. See it? It's like an Easter egg, huh? Oh, it's an egg. I know, she's hatching eggs out for us, so she's gotta stay in there. Oh, sorry, sweetie. She needs to go get some food and water, though. No more eggs. You working on one? You better be working on one. We caught a mouse. It's on these little silly sticky traps. So either got to pull them off and feed them to the cats or the chickens, or they just die on these things. So I'm gonna try to pull them off and and get them out of here. So my mom would never do something like this. <laughs> oh, she hates my. Oh, and his tail's stuck again. He wants it. <laughs> Whoa! China got her. No, it's not. Oh, it's the other one? Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna play with it. You gonna eat the mouse? Here, you film whatever you want, Eli. Okay. It's all up to you today. I'm gonna go figure the kitties. I can't get closer enough. Look at those things. So ugly though. No feathers. He's so big. They run out of water every single night. They eat and drink so much. We need to get another water in there. Can you help us get the chicks out? Yeah. You like gonna come help? Yeah. All right. Well, if you saw our hatchery video, you saw that we got a few chicks. Let's get them out and show you the new birds. Well, let's start off with Mr. The craziest one of the bunch. Mr. Turkin, Mr. No Neck. All right, and this is one of his new birds this year, Mr. Lackenvelder. And that was the duck, the duckling that Eli was holding that just came out of the hatcher, and this is a silver Swedish. These guys are some New Hampshire Reds. Our red frizzle didn't make it last year, the one that really had frizzles. And so our other one is Annie, and she just turned out to be a coach and didn't have the frizzle gene going on. So this one's the smallest one of our bunch. Another red frizzle. And since we had a, one duck already, we wanted to add another duck to grow up with it. So this one's a black Cayuga. Hey! We got a few more well summers to add to the mix. And we only ended up with one speckled Sussex, and it's a rooster. We really like the way they look, so he gave us a couple more speckled Sussex. 
And the prettiest bird at Heartland Hatchery, in my opinion, is the Lavender Orpington. And we've got a few of them, but only one hen, I think. So we added a few more to the flock this year. And we have a few bird rocks added to the flock. Eli's favorite. Isn't that right, Eli? Yep. Yeah. You're right, excited about the new chicks? Yeah. All right, so for a day or two, we built another indoor brooder and it's time to move them outside. So we've got the other 10 chicks still out there, so we might put up the other brooder to give these guys some space to move around in. So for the brooders that we have here in this barn, we've got this one here. And these guys are getting huge. Look at those corners cross, they're enormous. So they're taking up all the space in this brooder. And we have a second brooder right here that all folds down together. So I'm gonna put that together real quick, throw some wood chips in, and we'll get the chicks in there. Voila, it is complete. It's just a base and then four sides. And then for the roof, we just use baby blocker, hallway blocker thing. And it goes right across the top. And then it gives us something to hang the water and feeder from down in there. set up we've got our 19 little fur babies in there and then we've got six Cornish cross two Jersey Giants and two brown leghorns over here so they're hanging in under that heat plate I'll be sure to put a link to all the supplies I use for our chicks for our brooders down in the description if you want to check those out uh, we've got their water we've got their food they do have a supplemental heat lamp just to provide some more heat I wasn't sure if our Cornish cross would be able to re get in underneath this. I literally have it on the highest level. These Cornish cross are growing so fast. The other ones are perfect under it, uh, but they were just able to squeeze in under, and then I've got all the other birds under there. And to keep them from going on top, there is some wire mesh uh, that we have tied to the sides. I have been able to keep chicks off of the top in the past. Over here, this one I can't keep. Chicks off the top of that one, so they do jump on that from time to time, but. So far they're able to get to the food and I think they'll make their way down to the drink here in just a little bit. So if any of you were following us at the end of last year, we were trying to cut our numbers down. We had between 90 and 100 chickens and our goal was to get that down to about 60. Well, of course we've added you know, 20 here, a few here, so we're gonna have some more meat birds throughout the year, but 23 added to the flock if they were to all survive. So we worked hard, we've been selling off a bunch of layers. We're going to either sell or butcher some of our ducks soon. So we're gonna to try to keep getting that number down because we are getting an abundance of eggs. Looking towards next year, we always wanna be keeping new layers added to the flock just so we're continuing to get an abundance of eggs and not have some older hens that don't lay as often. So that's all of our New layers for the year. We may add a few here and there, we'll see, but that's the bulk of what we'll be getting this year, hopefully. We got all those at Harlan Hatchery. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. And let us know, where do you get your chickens? What chickens are you guys getting this year? We're looking forward to hopefully breeding either some Lavender Orpingtons or maybe some Black Copper Morans or some Well Summer, something that's got either a cool look to it or a cool egg color. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. 
and we'll see you next time.